Hello, hello, hello. We're here. We're doing some stuff. And, uh, you know, we're just kind of vibing at the moment. We are in the process of collecting a shulker full of this wood, which we need so that we can continue building our, uh, our little city over there. And it's going to take a hot minute because we're only about half of the way through with it. So it's going to take a minute, but it is imperative that we knock this out full hearth because I wish to do a lot of building. And to do a lot of building obviously requires a lot of materials, right? So makes sense it's logical and uh, hopefully it'll uh, give us what we need here we also will need to traverse into the nether and find ourselves a warped forest biome which i'm pretty sure we have somewhere but i don't exactly remember where it is and what we need to do in that is just do the same thing we need to get another shulker box full of all the goodness here mm -hmm. and we need that because it is a, one of the other core building blocks for the wall for the city and without it we are useless we can't do a thing so we're gonna try our damnedest to get that going and you'll see that these trees are gonna start sprouting all around us here at light speed just as we chop more we chop the more uh, that will grow and that's just how it goes so they're gonna pop up all around us we need to get about uh i think it was like 14 more stacks or so of this wood and then we will have a good starting point to actually build as many houses as we can so Let's knock this out first, and hopefully it will not take too long. If trees keep popping up at this rate, we'll be good. But, obviously, it's all in that RNG, baby. Mm -hmm. Will you randomly number generate me into a tree? I don't know. We'll see. I guess we'll see. But, hopefully, they just keep up the pace here so that we do not have to spend that long chopping all of these trees uh so we need at least a shulker of this wood at least a shulker of the blue warped wood we have a shulker already of the sandstone but uh should we need it we can always smelt ourselves some more we're going to need a little bit more of the copper, and then we are going to need quite a bit of the pink wood itself. So, realistically, we need to fill up a shulker of this and then get another eight stacks. Uh, eight stacks turns into 28 stacks of the plank, which we need a lot of as well. So, it's going to be a busy, busy day, grind heavy. But hopefully that will allow us to build at a much greater pace than what we have currently been working with. Uh, we also need to really make sure that uh, this is lit because it doesn't feel like it's lit enough. And as a result, things can definitely spawn in here because we did not put anything in the middle for whatever reason uh, in terms of our lighting. So we're just going to spam lights on the outside here and hope that that actually just works and keeps us nice and lit in here. Uh, although maybe we put in one right there. Let's take you put a torch here instead to break you and let's put you in that hole just so that we don't have to really worry about it oh yeah that's uh, significantly better and then we don't have to risk creepers or anything spawning on our faces and trying to blow us up you know all that badness that's happening we don't want it uh where's my where's my hoe 
All right, so you're gonna see here, we're gonna use the hoe to get rid of a lot of the leaves. And if I was smart, I probably would. Naturally, no, we have quite a few of the leaves. So if we want to use them, we have them at our disposal. And it's not going to be that difficult. Plus, these are like the easiest leaves to obtain. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna have to maybe put a couple more torches around though so that we can work through the night uninterrupted as best as I can. We don't want to sleep away the nights because every night that we actually sleep away, we are losing 10 minutes. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but we have much to get done and only about 200 closing Minecraft days before we run out of time. So, we do need to take care of that and see what this man has. Someday you'll give me a mangrove sapling. Someday. I know you will. So, like, that seems okay in terms of survivability, but mobs can still spawn on the outskirts of what we got here. So, we do have to be a little bit cautious still, but that is a okay. And let's just see if we can't get rid of some of these roots up here that are preventing other trees from wanting to grow. It's the one thing I really can't stand about these trees. I, I like using them now. I am definitely a fan. However, why do they got to grow like this? <laughs> Let me do a two by two version of every tree, please. I'm begging you. We just need some way to get wood for those of us noobs who will never set up an automated tree farm, right? And if I we would just let me grow these in a two by two fashion, we would have access to all the wood that we could ever need. And it would be so much easier. Like, you, you know, how hard could it be? We'd just have to model one and make them all look slightly different. It would not take much time. And I'm sure if they really wanted to, they could just use someone in the community's uh, existing design for a 2x2 two two tree. You know? Just saying. But I would love for that to happen. Forget giving me new block types and stuff like that. Make it easier for me please for us noobs here and i'm sure there are some of you <laughs> for us noobs here who pre predominantly build and do not make any farms make life harder on ourselves make it a little easier for us by just granting us the ability to make two by two trees of every single type. Like I would sit there and grind them out just the same, but it would be so much more efficient, so much easier. And like, I'm not saying they need to be as tall as a spruce tree or a jungle tree. They could be the size of a dark oak and I'd still be equally happy about them doing that. I know it probably will never happen, even though it's such a little thing and would make such a big difference. Truly, truly a big difference. All right, let's see here. Yep. Yep. Can tell that there is a metric ton of these little hiders in here. And good for our wood usage, but ungodly annoying. We'll say. <laughs> All right, so let's just swoosh here. All right, I think we got all of them at this layer. Aside from the new trees that are gonna unfurl very, very soon here. Seems like one or two pops up every so often. While we're cleaning up the leaves though, that's great. Yep, there we go. And it seems like if, if we get rid of the bottom ones, more spawn. Look at that. Look at that. That's crazy. Go, RNG, go. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right. Lot of freaking logs, though. You know, this is one thing about 
doing something on a large scale that you, uh, or at least I, fail to recognize every single time that I do it. And that's just the sheer amount of resources that you need to finish something. You think, oh, you know, this is no problem. I can knock that out in a day or, you know, whatever. No, doesn't work that way. Does not work. And I do think we're going to have to go back to get a little bit more of the sandstone very soon from our desert. So what we'll probably end up doing is going there like we did many episodes ago now. And probably doing nine sh shulkers or so. Just to uh, make things so much easier for us. We get all of that sand and sandstone, then we're able to build much, much greater and for much longer. We don't have to worry about, oh, do we have the resources for that? No, we just have the resources. So I am taking this upon myself here to actually attempt to get prepared. Uh, that's what this is. That's what this grind session is. It's the uh, definitely the part that's cut out of the videos the most, by far. Uh, all the grind that goes into it, because no one really wants to see that. And, you know, I get it. I get it. But if you're anything like me, and you use videos as a source of, like, background noise, you don't really mind if they're doing the menial tasks kind of thing like this and eventually you get to see you know how far we've come and that is a really cool thing uh, we do have to keep the supply planted here if we don't our chances of growth go down significantly so keep those planted that'll help a lot and you can see here that there are many many saplings missing here but we get that taken care of real nice and quick. Okay, we are coming up on our full shulker. We need to get at least, is it four? I think it's eight more stacks of uh, this wood though. Eight times four, 20, no, that's 32, seven. We need to do seven stacks of wood, sorry. Seven stacks. That'll get us a full shulker of the pink wood to make fences, slabs, and stairs. And that will be okay, I think. It'll be okay for the, for the moment. Because that's not a block that we are using as much as we use all of the stripped versions of this log. So I think we can get away with it. And that's great news for us. Uh, let's pop up there real quick, shall we? Whoa. And just start weeding out all of the logs that are trapped in here. Look at this. There's so many in here, too. And as we do this, of course, more will grow. Sucking it into the vortex that we have here. And that's great. That's honestly great. Because we need it. Yeah, they grow so high up, though. It's actually kind of crazy how many bends and turns and twists they all have. Like, good lord. Chill out. You need to calm down here, sir. Absolutely calm down. Look at that. Nice. And it is almost day. That's great news for us. That means we have successfully made it through the night. A uh, couple more days here and we will have to sleep again at the end of the night. Because of the freaking phantoms. We don't want to deal with them. I know there's, uh, there's some people on here that have done insomnia runs. And I I could never. Like, it, if I did an insomnia run, it would literally just force me to live underground. Like, I would never come to the surface ever again. <laughs> because I really hate dealing with ph phantoms that much, right? Either that or I have to build a gigantic false sky above me so that no phantoms can ever darken my doorstep. No. 
We don't we don't want to deal with that. Do not want to deal with it. And it seems that there is never going to be a change with that. Like, if they did damage and were not just annoying, I think it'd be okay, right? I've said this before, I'll say it again. But the fact that they are just so completely useless and just a hindrance and an annoying to you is just dumb. Very, very, very dumb. But that is A-O freaking K. This is actually going much better than I thought it would. It is great news for us because, again, it takes a long time to collect all of these resources like this. I think the, the nether one, the warped wood, will be much easier than this because we don't have to chop any leaves to get it. We just can get the wood and then bail out of there as soon as we've gotten it. So that is much, much easier for us than doing all of this nonsense here. Carving out all of the trees and going up in the, the canopy, clearing out all of the the leafage and then by extension the uh, logs, branches, and twigs that grow inside of that canopy up there and it's, it's crazy. We also, next time we should definitely bring a fire starter. We should definitely bl bring a flint and steel or a fire charge or something so that we can just get rid of this while we're doing it. And hopefully that would allow for more growthage and thus more cutting. Should be great. Can see though, they pop up like crazy and that is very, very good for us. Okay, okay, okay. Don't know how many more stacks we need, but I think it's probably like, like we haven't filled the shulker yet, I don't think. Okay, we got one and a half more to fill the shulker, and then we need seven more after that to have that buffer zone for ourselves. All the fences that we need are going to take a lot, and so we'll just use the plank, and then we'll use whatever random wood we have lying around as the source of sticks, because you don't want to waste these wood on the sticks. You don't want to do that. We seem to have hit a snafu, a snag in the road here where things have stopped growing, but that just means we carve away and try to find the little logs that could. Oh, hello. Hello there, Sharice. Hello, hello. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, not too bad. This is going to be a very grinding day for sure because we need so many freaking blocks. It's actually kind of absurd how many we need. But I know that you guys appreciate at the very least that we are not in the dreary nether. We are not digging away hundreds and hundreds of thousands of blocks. So I'm sure you guys appreciate that at least because I know that I myself needed that change because I couldn't do it. I couldn't be in the nether anymore. It's so bleak in there. And until I decide to actually buckle down and install the, the mods that make the nether less bleak and more bright, it's, uh, it's off-putting. It's off-putting of me being inside there because I just don't want to see it, you know? I really don't. Enderman, what you doing, bud? <laughs> really bad. I don't know why I put on the shield if I wasn't going to use it at all. It's, uh, feels like me in a nutshell right there. <laughs> Puts on shield, doesn't use shield. Good. Good. All right, let's re-flower here. Get all the saplings back on the ground. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. 
Okay, yep. And there we go. All sorted well again. Beautiful. Now, I truly do not believe that 27 stacks is going to be anywhere close to allowing us to finish this. But it's a start. Because I don't want to just mine for hours and get, like, you know, three double chests of this, right? It just seems like something that I don't have the brain capacity to do, honestly. How many of you can just sit there and grind out a resource like that? I, I, I have too much ADHD and too much, like, can't sit still energy. <laughs> Which is really the same thing, but... I definitely struggle with that all the time. All right, so that is beautiful. We're down t up to two stacks. We got that. So... Am I lagging? What's happening? Okay, that was weird. That was very weird. It would not let me pick up that block for some reason. I don't know if we need to, but we could definitely grow or chop all of these down, too. But I'll save that for another time, because I don't think we need a whole lot more of the orange. Um, did I use it on those? I did use it on the towers, it appears, but not to the point that we need a shulker full of it, so I should be okay. Should absolutely be okay. Uh, let's put the rockets over here. The saplings right over there. Sure, that'll go here. Uh, four, seven. Seven. That's all we need. So as soon as those all fill up, we are good to go. Hello, trees. I know you've been growing all around me. You grew inside of me, in fact. Jeez. Can't believe it. Talk about a sticky situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very, very nice. So, for those of you who may be new and have stumbled across my random channel... Hi. Hello. <laughs> First of all. But... It's important that you guys know this is a series for experimentation on my behalf. Uh, not only am I experiment experimenting with how we are building and all of that kind of stuff, we're also experimenting with the series itself. I started out uh, about a, a little over a year ago now and wanting to do one episode a day. And I was successful. We did all of those episodes. We made a bunch. And it was uh, a fun time so far, right? Well, for those of you who also don't know, I am doing the series completely raw and unedited. However, once we get to day 1000, I am actually going to take the time and get people introduced to my world nice and properly. That is why we are trying so hard to finish things in these 1,000 days here. Why the, we're, we're gunning for a resolve in these last 200 days because we want to, uh, we want to welcome people to our, our world over here. And I figured the best way to do so, even though we will be you know 300 episodes in or whatever, I figure the best way to do so is to simply do a world tour and try our... Well, we'll do two things. We'll do an actual world tour. Uh, and then we will also do a combination or compilation video where we combine everything that happened in our 1,000 days and, uh, you know, make it that the, the catch-22, I survived a thousand days in hardcore Minecraft. You know, whatever. We're going to do it like that. And I am hoping that that will bring some people, hopefully, over to the Twitch side. The YouTube side is really just for me, honestly. It's uh, a way for me to vent and just kind of 
get out what I need to say, but in no specific way, in no specific rhyme or reason. Twitch, however, is where you guys can come and visit me. And that's cool, because... I don't know. I like it, I guess. Four, five, six, seven. So, yeah. Just need that. And so I'm hoping that in doing that video, that's what will occur. People will come over, they'll watch us do our live streams, do all our episodes live, and we will we'll make progress that way, right? That's the goal. Uh, I have a goal on both of the platforms, if anyone cares to know, and that is... I want to get to 300 on the Twitches, and I want to get to 1,000 on the YouTubes. Uh, but I, I'm thinking probably like next year for, for YouTube, honestly. Twitch and YouTube are very, very similar. I do have a much smaller goal for Twitch than I do YouTube, however. And that's just because... I would rather people follow me on Twitch than on YouTube. Catch me live, participate in all of my shenanigans, my dad jokes, and, you know, everything like that. And, like I said, the YouTube is just my little experiment. It's me trying to make something cool. Me trying to see if the algorithm will work. Seeing if people will watch and all like it, all of these things just trying to really prove a point To myself and not to really anyone else. Why are we lagging so bad? What is happening? It's so weird I don't know why we're lagging, but I don't appreciate it uh, The little houses are popping up everywhere. It's so nice. Love it. All right, so we got this. That means it's now a time. Uh, we only need two, and we need our crafting table. If I were, oh, I was like, if you were a crafting table, where would you be? But I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, so we'll do this, make some planks, make our chest. And connect that chest. That means that we now have a full chest of the cherry wood, which is amazing news for us. Big, big, big help. So you see there, that's that. And we also will need a little bit over here so that we can actually have the plankage. So that's for the planks. And that is great. All right, so next, we need our, to get our asses into the nether. Uh, we need to obtain the shulker box first, because we need the warped wood. And it's great because it's raining here, and I really uh, just don't want to deal with the rain. And we're not going to sleep it away, so. You know. You know how it goes. All right, let's uh, deposit all of our many saplings here. We did get many sticks, which we'll use for the slabs at some point as well. And we got a single gunpowder there. We have rocketry. We have, uh, we didn't even use the bones. Okay. And we don't really need, and eh, we'll take the hoe with us just in case. All right. Let's get our ass... Okay, this can probably be turned off, honestly. Just, just chill out. Just chill out for a minute. I thought it had stopped raining, but it occurred to me that we were in a savanna. It doesn't rain in savanna. You can't shoot through there. That's bullshit. Don't do it. Oh, he's in the other side now. All right, so be it. There you go. All right, now uh, to remember where the hell we had put all of that jazz. Where is our blue forest? And is it close? It appears that the lava is depleted greatly. All of our buckets and such. 
name. We still have netherrack smelting. We still are going to need lava, so that's good news, I guess. Yeah, we, we have a lot of buckets, actually, that we need to refill, but not yet. Just want to see. Okay, so this one still has a bunch. What about this top one here? That still has it. Okay, so this one is still getting everything. It's still flowing. But, okay. Cool. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, and then we'll figure out where the hell our warped forest is. Give me one second. 